business across most arcades and downtown Kampala has been rather slow today owing to the sit-down strike announced by the several associations of traders within the city. However, sporadically you would see some shops open and some of the traders who preferred not to face the camera told us one of the reasons is that some of their goods are highly perishable. The instruction to keep businesses under lock and key was heeded to by a section of traders across the city. Nonetheless, a number of people who do work in and around the shops, like hired lifters, made their way to their workplaces, albeit remaining redundant. <laughs> Traders here, uh, we are not so much informed about what is going on. We heard that the president called some of our leaders and they went to state house and he met them in groups. But we never got a clear feedback from them. So most of us are thinking that uh, some of them were bribed uh, so that these uh, 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 strikes against uh, uh, IFRIs do not continue. However, the presence of security did not go unnoticed since the strike coincided with a planned anti-corruption protest march to parliament by the young people. It was mixed feelings for the traders we talked to because some did not receive the memo. <laughs> Isa Sechito, the spokesperson of the Kampala City Traders Association, Kasita, accepts that the message to the traders was not harmonized. Some organizations that have emerged within the business community have made announcements that are disputable. Kasita has also made her own. Even you see that even some of the instances in Kasita, some people don't know what is happening. This is the rebellion because uh, it, it came all of a sudden. Sechito also explained why they have opted for the strike. The mode of communication, the minister of Kampala, arrogant the way she is, just to use the voicemail on one of the groups in a WhatsApp message to send the signal that the president had cancelled a meeting that is longer awaited for over three to four months, pursuing the same matter. And now within a voice of a minister of Kampala, not even the minister of finance, not even the minister of trade industry and cooperatives, but the minister of Kampala. This is not a Kampala issue, this is a national issue. The president needs to understand that the Minister of Kampala was chosen to handle Kampala matters. There has not been any further update from the presidency over the matter and it remains unclear when the strike will be called off. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.